<laughs> How long do you guys think you can stand at a urinal before people realize you're just there to look at dicks? <laughs> Like, if you went to a Lakers game or something and everyone's peeing, like, how long could you stand there before people would be like, yo, that guy's been standing there for a long time? 30. 30 minutes? That's a, you're probably right. Just, like, guys keep on coming, but you're, like, there the whole time. You're, you're just, like, you have sunglasses on, but you're like... <laughs> yo, great game, huh? LeBron's really... really giving it to him, huh? Yeah, I love sports. <laughs> Yo, that guy's been there for 30 minutes. <laughs> to get out of here. Oh, too bad I already got my fill of dicks. Peace. I already, I already saw what I came here to see. Bye. Yeah. So, sometimes there's surges of, of Islamophobia here in, this, in the States. And whenever that happens, I kind of like, I want Saudi Arabia to kind of like, to help out. Because they have so much money. It'd be cool if they just like bought NASCAR. Just be like, yeah, we own it now. <laughs> All the drivers are gay. Deal with it. <laughs> I'm like, fucking, de <laughs> fucking Daryl heads. Like, okay, we bought the NFL now. How do you like that? <laughs> keep talking. Keep running your mouth. <laughs> All the quarterbacks are trans now. Okay. <laughs> you have to kneel for the anthem. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> no, we're not gonna come to the games anymore. It's like we don't need your money. <laughs> you think we're doing it for the money? <laughs> what do you think your car runs on? <laughs> okay, do you, do you guys ever look at your siblings and like think to yourself, I wonder which one of us is gonna die first? <laughs> Woo! Too dark? All right. It's gonna, it's gonna happen, but you don't know like which, you don't want it to happen, but it's gonna, that's why I think it's cool when like a litter of dogs gets given to everybody else, because they never have to know when that happens. <laughs> that's kind of sweet, right? <laughs> That'd be fucked up if it was. Like, there's a phone call, like, brr, what? Oh my God. Ruffles, it's for you. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Just do your thing, Ruffles. I'll hold down the fort. <laughs> the golden retriever has like a suitcase. <laughs> he has a sleep mask. <laughs> it's at the funeral, just putting dirt on the... <laughs> I like how not on board you were, and then suddenly you kind of were. Once I painted out the dogs, you're, you were like, get off the stage. That's kind of cute, actually. <laughs> oh, I recently, I had, I had sex with a they, with a they, them. Oh. Yeah, and I, I consider it a threesome. <laughs> I had sex with them. <laughs> Do you guys know Richard Belzer? Is Belzer from Law and Order? Yeah. So he passed away re recently. Whoa. That's not the funny part. <laughs> okay. Jesus. Sounds like you're his killer. <laughs> <laughs> but clips were circulating on the internet of like Richard, because he was a comedian and stuff. So there was an appearance of Richard Belzer on The Late Show with David Letterman, and Hulk Hogan was on there. And I guess Richard was saying wrestling, wrestling is fake. And he goes, oh yeah, brother, is this fake? And then he puts him in a headlock and he like concussed him. He like, he choked him out, he fainted, he hit the floor. But to me, that's so funny when wrestlers, when someone says wrestling's fake and they go, oh yeah, is this fake? And they just beat the shit out of them. <laughs> like, that doesn't prove anything. <laughs> They're totally opposite things. They're unrelated. That'd be like if you went up to Denzel and you're like, training day was fake. And he's like, oh yeah. <laughs> shoots you in the face. Like, when it, when it comes to, like, gays and lesbians, like, people, like, the right will talk about the sanctity of marriage and shit, but there are married couples where the guy likes to watch his wife get fucked by another guy. <laughs> like, where does that fall? His God is like, that's cool. <laughs> Just no gay shit. As long as they're married and love each other, plow away. This is great. God's not here to kink shame. <laughs> Gimp masks, butt play, all the, God loves it. It's groovy, baby. <laughs> if a woman is really, really beautiful, they don't want to hear that they're beautiful because they get it a lot, you know? It's kind of an, a turnoff. But I'm a stand-up comedian, and like, when people say I'm funny, I, I like it. <laughs> I like it all the time. If a girl's like, you're funny, I'm not like, is that all I am? 
aren't I beautiful? <laughs> aren't I also beautiful? <laughs> you gotta go soon. And the son of banger. Thanks, man. Thanks. I'm gonna flay the baby. No pressure. No pressure? I mean, there really is no pressure. <laughs> we're in an attic in the... <laughs> we're in a 70-seat attic. You guys acting like it's Madison Square Garden? Like, don't blow this. <laughs> don't, you have computer paper, and there's 70 of your fans here. Don't fuck this up. Don't fuck up this very receptive audience. <laughs> So, like, after a breakup, women can wear, like, revenge clothes, you know? They'll, they'll wear, like, a low-cut blouse and, like, hit the club or something. Or, like, super skin-tight clothes. There's no equivalent of that for guys. Like, after a breakup, like, I can't rip the sleeves off my dress shirts and hit the club like she's gonna rue the day. It's like Donkey Kong. <laughs> 